Hello everybody, it's Wasan19 and welcome to the beta branch update for October 9th. And is it stable enough for you to upgrade to it? Uh, first I'd like to start off by saying that we have some good news and we do have some bad news. But first let's get to the good news. I had some communication with Mexico who got back from this holiday. And to the people that watched my last beta branch video, one of the major problems that was happening was with prosperity in some towns because of a quest that was giving a minus five. As you, um, I don't see an awful lot. I'm not sure if they're going to be up there. Bulk. There you go. There's one. As you can see, bulk to hand is, um, is at eight prosperity. And they're currently running negative 4.4. If you look down under prosperity, it says bound village issues minus five. That is this quest right here. Now this quest is really simple and easy to do. And they made it really easy to do now because the bandits don't actually run away from you. However, this is causing a minus five. Anyone where you see needs help with bandits then that is the one that causes a minus five. And I went through that on my last episode, so I'm not gonna go through that on this episode. If you wanna see that, go check out the previous one. So after I knew that this was a problem, I went ahead and I sent an email out to Mexico. And he uh, sent me an email back and asked me to email him the um, my save game file which I went ahead and did and then he wrote back to me that he apologized for not getting back to me he was busy which I knew he was working on policies and that he would run it so he went ahead and run it and this is what he came up with this comes from a thread that I created about this exact issue and after going through my save game file he went ahead and ran this and he found that yes it was an issue. Um, prosperity was absolutely terrible. So he decided that he is going to reduce it from a minus five to a minus two. So that will be taken care of and we won't have that issue and it will be a lot easier to control which is great news and thank you to Mexico. This will lead me to my second issue. Uh, I've said on this um, exact beta branch video updates that I predicted the last two patch updates and I am confident to say that on most likely on Monday they would do it early in the week Monday Tuesday normally Monday that either 1.5.4 or 1.6 will drop and this is how I get this information because Mexico doesn't actually tell me these things but he will leave me little hints. And if you look down here, I reduced the issue to minus two, as you can see its effect on the table. However, this change will not be at beta in the next patch. The next patch is already on test currently. It will be available in two to three weeks, probably. So this is gonna be two to three weeks because it can't be on the next patch which means the next patch is virtually ready to go. So is there a chance it could be the week after if something comes up? Yeah, they could actually have to push it back a week, which has happened, but I'm pretty safe to say that either 1.5.4 or 1.6 should drop on. We also did have two little small updates, nothing major. Um, we had this one where it fixed the crash and this one dealt mainly with the modding tools So it was a big time addition to the modding tools uh, So the modders will be um, really really happy about that um, It's not too huge uh, of an issue um, The other one we had was once again it fixed just a little bit of minor things that were actually going on in the game so all in all, there wasn't a whole lot of fixes that were actually happening in the game this week. One problem that I've been having quite a bit lately is that I've been having problems with same game files getting corrupted. 
Now, I believe this is a late game issue personally. It really is what I, I think it is. It's definitely a late game issue. Doesn't seem to happen early on in the game. Just in the last week, I've already had two save files corrupted. This is part of my horse archer campaign. And I've now had to back this up an entire episode, which really sucks. Because in my next episode, I ended up taking this castle, this town, and this castle all in one episode. And I lost that episode. I have it recorded. However, I don't have the same game file. Because as I do, after every part, I redo a save game file. That way, if anything ever does go wrong, I can back it up to that point. I actually try to make two different save files. Do one save file in a town or outside of a town. Then, after you do that, either go into the town or come out of the town, wherever you saved it, do the opposite. Walk for just a second and try saving again. Another problem that I'm having, um, as you can see, his name is, you can see his face, that means he's of age. This is my son. And he is of age because, first of all, you see his picture. And next of all, if you go to, his, if you go to your skills page, if their name appears on the skills page, then they're ready to go. Um, I don't, he was bugged. I think this was a bug that they actually corrected. I'm not sure if that uh, co contributed to this problem. However, he is in the holding at Sargat stage. Um, I did uh, I'll let the team know about it. They do know. And I did ask them if they wanted my save file to see what the problem was. Somebody did suggest that I go ahead and make him a governor. And that is how you can go ahead and release him. However, as you can see, he is not on this list. We still have a, a major problem with the AI mechanic in sieges. That is still absolutely terrible. We have the horrendous pausing issue that is dealing with the game saving auto its auto save feature when it pauses constantly. They they still not have fixed that even though they know about it, which would be pretty easy, first of all, just make it so it only saves auto save once in a while. Instead of auto saving after virtually everything you do, then maybe we wouldn't get that many pauses to fix it. However, I guess they don't want to try to make a, a band-aid effect, they want to just fix it, so I can appreciate that, but the pausing really does suck. And of course the negative five is still gonna be there for mainly the Kuzite towns that I discussed earlier. We still got a couple weeks left on that. Is it worth upgrading to the 1.5 beta branch? Now I am actually going to reverse my, ish my issue on this and say no. And I do have a couple reasons for this. One of my biggest right now is still the problems that are going on inside of 1.5 that I feel can be better handled into 1.3 and 1.4 branch. Uh, the other one is the feeling that I have that we are now not closer to 1.6. There's one specific post that got put out that I viewed in which it sounded like 1.5.4 is ready. And that's what I had discussed earlier. And that the next one, two to three weeks down the line, is when my minus five prosperity quest will get put into play. I read one specific post where a dev made it sound like that is actually going to be 1.5 point, or uh, 1.5.5. I now am reversing my issue and saying that I don't think 1.6 is close. What that is going to mean is when they do that, there's going to be more bugs. There's going to be more crashes. So at this point, I don't feel like that if you're wanting a stable version of the game, that I would update to the beta branch at this time. If you're not that eager to look at all the new features, unless there is something major in 1.5.4 that really draws your attention, I would say hold off for it for now. Just wait. Check back with me again next week. 
when I have my next beta variance video, which I will then assume it will be dealing with the 1.5.4 beta branch. So until then, to all the people that have been supporting me, thank you very much. Take care, and thanks for watching.